Hi, my name's George and welcome to this week's Rational Thinking, where we'll be looking at a busy week in the Commons, where they've been voting and debating on the Brexit withdrawal agreement. In the US, we've seen a, a possible slowdown on the future pace of interest rate hikes. And it was a quiet week in the EU, where we've had some d disappointing trade data from Germany. Last week was a busy one for the pound in terms of the parliamentary activity around Theresa May's withdrawal agreement. She suffered two fairly embarrassing defeats, the first being that she would have to seek parliamentary approval for some of the funding around her no-deal no preparations, which does make a no-deal situation uh, fairly un unseeable now. Um, the other crushing defeat for her was around the fact that if the vote does get rejected, she has to give the plan B within three days. And again, this is something that she wished to avoid. We had the vote on Tuesday and the likelihood is that the uh, vote will not get through. So that situation will play out more as the week goes on. Uh, we also saw incre an increased likelihood on the possibility of a general election with Jeremy Corbyn on Thursday calling the national uh, election as the highest priority for the Labour. Um, we also did see some positivity towards the back end of the week in terms of data, uh, with GDP increased from 0.1% to 0.2%. We also saw a fairly quiet week for the, the Eurozone, with no major economic announcements. However, we did see some fairly disappointing trade data coming out of Germany, with regional industrial output falling for the third straight month. So this fueled a few, a few uh, investor concerns about a possible slowdown in the Eurozone's biggest economy. Uh, and outside of that, in France, another big economy uh, of the EU, we also saw a fall in consumer confidence. Last week saw a fairly negative week for the US as we had news that the uh, several FOMC members were considering keeping interest rate hikes steady and this weighed uh, on the dollar. Um, so last week we did see the minutes released from the latest Dece uh, December Fed meeting and within this we saw that several policymakers were starting to consider the idea of slowing down on the pace of interest rate hikes. We've actually seen four for 2018. So the possibility that we may not see more than two uh, for 2019 has weighed and also points towards a possible global slowdown. Uh, we also saw that Fed member Bostic had come out and said that he was, wasn't opposed to the idea of considering cutting interest rates. Uh, which is the first time we've heard this since 2015, when we saw that first initial interest rate hike. Um, alongside this, we also saw that the trade talks between the China and the US had been extended, um, and that weighed as well on the greenback, as we saw that markets pointed towards a more risk-on attitude, and safe haven currencies actually suffered as a result. This week should see another busy week for currency markets. In sterling, Tuesday sees the big uh, vote on the Brexit withdrawal agreement that Theresa May has uh, brought up. Expected to be rejected, this has been priced in by markets, so the key things that we'll be looking for will be the aftermath and any political rhetoric that will follow this, and also the likelihood of a general election being called. Um, in data, fairly quiet, but we do have some of the consumer price index data coming out at the end of the week. This is expected to actually fall from 2.2% to 2.3%. In the US, it's a quiet week in terms of data, only one key announcement to look out for. We do have the retail sales figures month on month for December released at the back end of the week, and we, this is expected to remain at 0.2%. In Europe, it's the same data as we see in the pound. We have the CPI figures released year on year for January, uh, and this is expected to remain at 1.6%. Thank you for tuning in for this week's Rational Thinking. As ever, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the videos. This week, as, as we have seen for the last few weeks, we're gonna see extreme volatility uh, in all major currency pairs. So if you have any questions or any fears about the current situation or what we expect, please feel free to get in touch at any time. We will be having extended opening hours on Tuesday uh, up until the vote is announced and then up until midnight for any uh, further trading that needs to be done. So please feel free to get in touch.